Hello, hello, hello. Today I will show you how to set up a dual camera system through your computer, which you can use, for instance, to record two people at the same time while we are talking. I am a clinical psychologist myself, and to me it's really, really useful to be able to record my therapy sessions. I record all of them as long as there is consent from the patient, of course. What this means is I can go back I can see what kind of mistakes I made, I can see what I did right, uh, I can improve both the quality of the treatment, protected from stagnating or, or going in the wrong direction, I can improve my own skills by exercises, and I can show it to my supervisor, uh, who is able to spot things I wasn't able to spot myself, which I then, of course, wouldn't be able to tell him about, because I'm not conscious of them. So this is really, really useful, and I will see, I expect to see more and more therapists and clinical psychologists starting to record their sessions. Highly recommend it. Anyway, today we will have a look at how to set up this system, which I think is the cheapest and uh, most convenient way for you to just record and get the files on a encrypted hard drive uh, without having to mess around with memory cards or copying files from a, a, a video camera or anything like that. So what you need is first of all a computer of course. This computer needs to have the software Open Broadcaster software installed or OBS. This is an open source software, it's really good and it's free. I will get back to that. What else do you need? You need two webcams. I use Logitech C270 HD. I got these in 2017, when you're listening to this. Uh, maybe there's a much better alternative out there, but these are quite good enough for me. You also need a microphone to really get crisp sound, so it's not horrible uh, listening to your tapes, and uh, so you can really get a clear sense of what everyone is saying. I use a blue snowball microphone. Same thing here, got it in 2017, works good enough for me. You also need a USB multiport and a USB extension cable to connect it all to your computer, or a combination of the two, that is a multiport port with a long cord. Finally, you need some way of attaching the cameras to the wall. I use uh, this tape called command which I think is really great uh, you can attach things they sit fit uh, they sit um, tightly securely on the wall and uh, uh, you can remove them without any damage to your walls okay so let's first look at the, how I have set up the cameras and the microphone there is one camera here uh, next to this chair there is one camera here next to this chair and in the middle, the microphone. You can attach it however you have the possibility. I have attached it underneath this window because that was what was available to me. So there's one camera uh, aimed at the therapist's seat and another camera aimed at the patient's seat. And all of these cables, these are simple USB cables coming out of the microphone and the two cameras, they all go into here. Here we have our USB multiport, um, and here, here's the microphone, here's one camera, here's another camera. Simple as that. And this is then connected to this extension cable that goes around along the wall and into my computer. Uh, I have used this uh, command tape to attach it to my wall. Uh, you can remove it, no problem, like that, and you can put it back on. A little psychologist ninja sound for you there. Uh, easy peasy. Okay, now to set up the program. Simply use Google and type in uh, OBS or um, Open Broadcaster Software, and it should be the first hit. There is also a URL that you can uh, go straight to: https obsproject.com. Everything here is in Swedish, but I think you can follow along just fine. Okay, so simply click the link that matches your operative system. I use Windows, so I click that, and boosh, it's downloading. Wonderful. Uh, 
I've already prepared this, so here is the program. This, when you start it up, it looks like this. Now, there's a whole deluge of different options and possibilities within this program. Um, so I will just, uh, if you want to find out more about it and, and how to really use it, uh, I leave it up to you. I don't think it's very complicated. Uh, well, a bit complicated, maybe. But I will, I will show you the most important things for this purpose. So first of all, uh, here's what what's called scenes, and a scene is a certain setup of cameras, uh, images, audio, um, and so forth. You will probably use only one scene, um, and it's kind of the canvas with which you work with. So uh, we have our scene selected here, and now simply right click in this uh, black void and choose add. And now we're going to add a video capture device. That is, we're going to add our cameras to this program. Uh, now you will see me for a short while here. Here we go. Here's me on the web camera on top of my computer. But we don't want that now. As you can tell, I have three webcams. We want this one. OK. So we add this one to our program. This looks weird, right? Uh, the thing is, since I've um, attached my cameras on the wall in, in a rotated fashion, they're, they're not uh, aligned as they usually are, this picture of course gets misaligned as well, but no problem. We simply right click it, go to transform, and then uh, rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. And here we go. You can move around this picture, you can resize it. Uh, as you can see, maybe this is the chair with the pillow in. That's the um, patient's chair. And we can even rename it uh, to patient. Okay, and what's so beautiful about this program, and the reason I use this program, is you can add multiple. Um, video capture devices, um, and we can call this therapist, and just uh, configure them however you want. So let's add the other uh, webcam like this. Same thing here, we right click it, transform, and rotate it counterclockwise. We set it where we want it, we resize it. Uh, now, I think it's good to leave a uh, black space in between these two, because otherwise people, when I showed it to colleagues and supervisors, they got a little confused. They thought, if, if I put it like this, they thought it was a single image with two chairs sitting right next to each other in some weird way. So uh, now I, I kind of put it like this. So uh, this is lovely, isn't it? Now we just need to add the microphone. So we go here to audio input capture, add that. And we can call it uh, microphone, for instance. And uh, we choose the device. Now, since I have three webcams, each webcam has its own microphone. But we don't want that because we bought a good microphone spe specifically to have better audio quality than these microphones. So we choose the blue snowball one like that. All, all these things should just show up on your computer if they're connected correctly to through your USB. Okay, so let's take a look here in the mixer section, uh, section of the window. Here we have the microphone that we just added. And as you can see, as I'm speaking, uh, this, this gives off the feedback that is picking up audio. This is desktop audio. This will be, I, I, I try to change the language to English, but for some reason this doesn't change. But okay, this is desktop and I have disabled it. And I'm going to disable the other two cameras as well. Because we already have an audio capture uh, microphone, we don't need multiple ones that would create some kind of echo. Uh, and um, we got this microphone specifically so we wouldn't have to hear the b bad audio from this, these uh, web cameras, as I said. I, initially I tried just using the webcam audio, but it was too weak, so it, it wasn't working out very well. 
now we have that basically set up so um, let's go here to file and settings and take a look at that now there's a whole lot of settings here uh, so you don't have to worry about stream because you're not streaming anything I hope uh, you just go to output and this is kind of the set the settings that I've experimented with and found to be the best ones for me uh, this is where you set the quality and size and such of the video that you're recording recording path here is where you set up where all the videos end up and I've directed it to so that all the videos that I record they end up on a external drive which is my military grade encrypted external hard drive this is very important for me because uh, as maybe you can tell from the background here in my um, office it's not very safe from um, from burglary if someone really wanted to go in here and take the computer they could do that so that means it's very important to have all sensitive patient data in a foolproof um, storage the way my external hard drive is it's locked with a numpad lock I will show it on the screen um, and uh, it's impossible to get into it to, to access it without erasing all data from it if you don't know the combination so that's very good that makes me feel safe and secure in knowing that no one can even if someone were to steal my technical equipment no one could get into uh, these highly sensitive and personal data and films that uh, concerns people's personal lives anyway uh, the audio uh, the video here I set a decently good uh, resolution I think this was lower but I had to raise it to get a better uh, quality of video you can experiment with all of these things uh, the higher these are the better basically uh, if you want to you can add hot uh, hot keys but uh, I'm not gonna go into that um, and the one thing that's interesting on this page here is here you can set up how the uh, video files will uh, will be um, what, what they will look like the name of the video files so right now it's set up to, as you can see on, on, on these little um, list of commands or codes, it is set up to be recorded in the name of the current day and time. So if I start, this is the 26th of June 2019. If I were to press start recording right now, it would record a file called 26, 2019 dash 06-26 uh, 13-24 uh, seconds 010 or, or, or 05 or whatever I think this is very nice because it simply uh, all the all the videos are sorted chronologically and uh, on this uh, were placed straight in my uh, encrypted external hard drive so all I need to do is to kind of go into this base folder and then sort them into separate subfolders, one for each treatment I'm doing. Uh, and everything is uh, just arranged and sorted uh, very naturally, very conveniently. And uh, also it's quite fast. Uh, if I will show you here now that we looked at these settings let's make a recording start recording now it's recording and I will only record for a few seconds but even if I record for an hour or two hours the moment I push stop recording uh, it just takes a few seconds to stop and it's finished and uh, the encoding that I'm using is a mp4 I used this high quality medium file size uh, really good um, 
I previously used FLV that works too. Another good thing with that is even if the program crashes, the, the video still is uh, completed. You can still watch the video. You can't do that with MP4. If the program crashes while recording with MP4, the video is lost. But I choose MP4 because that's a, I think that's more commonly used uh, format. So that's nice. If, if I want to, if I need to bring it to another computer or something like that. And uh, a 60 minute video uh, is um, like 300 megabytes or something like that, which is so, so one, one, which is one of the great advantages of using this method. I would say the advantages of using this method is uh, instead of a regular camera is one, you get the dual picture that we have here. First cameras can do that also, of course. Two, it's very cheap. Uh, this whole setup cost me, except for the computer, of course, this whole setup cost me about 70 euros, which is, I think is very nice. Uh, and maybe the most important thing, it's so convenient. Uh, the videos are just placed where you want them immediately. There's no hassle of using um, memory cards or, or copying from the video camera to your computer or anything like that. It just goes where it needs to be immediately. Uh, and it also is a very good file size. If you use a dedicated proper video camera, you probably will get a much crisper and better image. But uh, the, the films will also easily be 10 times as big, easily. So, uh, which, which makes it a hassle to, to save them for, for any number of time during the... If you have several session, treatments going on and uh, you save all the videos until the sessions, the, the treatment is terminated, that's a lot of gigabytes. Um, so I think this is really nice. And you don't need to compress it or anything. It's, I mean, it's compressed in the moment that it is completed. Okay, that's basically it. Um, bye!